Hey, welcome everybody. Commander Ox here. So, if you haven't guessed it, well, kind of shooting a couple videos in the same day. So, geocaching again. Hey, when did you know it? Um, yeah, just trying to take it full advantage of a the beautiful days and b you know just staying away from other people so trying to kill two birds one stone i am out here geocaching i am still out at the uh at this uh business center slash trail area walk area nice area to walk so i'm out here i'm gonna grab a couple more caches for the day's end so hey if you haven't joined this channel yet please subscribe to the channel i have a goal of 25,000 subscribers by december 25th of 2020 this year i can't do it alone i need to do it with all y'all guys so you know if you do enjoy these uh these 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 videos these vlogs please i really would appreciate if you do subscribe to the channel it really would mean a lot to me uh but without further ado i am walking right now to the next cache first cache of this video so what I'm going to do is not forget to bring up the go around top of this one. I'm actually going to let's uh, bring up, start recording. Hopefully both these cars are here. Don't have anybody in it. Shaded cash. And we're going to hit navigate. So we are pretty much here. Like I said, hopefully this Jeep has no way in it. Hopefully this car has no way in it. Doesn't look like it. So we're good to go on that. Shady cash. Well, you got a little shaded shelter. Got a muggle over there in the van. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. They've been there for quite a while. But with this one, I'm really not scared of this one. Because it little, literally just looks like we're uh, taking a little bit of a, a rest, a break from the day. Uh, so what we have here, guys, we have a picnic table, we have two benches, and we have this. So let's go back to the cache. Micro difficulty terrain three. Oh. So terrain three is going to mean a couple different things. Well, one terrain means you can get to it from the two. and see if uh let's see what uh see what we get let's see let's 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 make this interesting huh Definitely interesting, guys. <laughs> oh man, so much fun! Somebody's put a, a piece of quartz in here. That's cool. A piece of crystal. See, so what caching is supposed to be like? All these containers we're seeing for the most part are small. What we're supposed, to, you know, a lot of the caches. What the original cache was was a five-gallon bucket, and unfortunately, with how you know caching has become it's hard to just put a five gallon bucket just out anywhere so you do what you can do so wrote my name on the cache on the log put it back inside the container and put the cords back in without losing it got it put it back in <laughs> and we go replace it and still nobody really here so let's push you guys Watch me do this again. This definitely cannot be done during the day. Like with you know businesses and stuff being here. Got the camera. Let's get out of here. Let's hit log. We definitely found it. And uh, thanks. No. Um, hmm. 
had an idea of where to look from the difficulty terrain rating on the DT. Thanks for that cash. Post. There we go. First one of the first one of the video, guys. These are awesome because these are not quite like other like these aren't just like you know the the light pole caches like they're cool and it gets you the find and but it's not very you know i just walk up right to it yep right here guys up oh, just right here you know the one that was a key holder inside of it was a little different i've done a couple of those myself which is why i knew where that was heck to look real quick you know first thing you'll look at the bottom and if you don't see it there then obviously you just go look up top i place one at the top of one so when you lift it up unless you look all the way under you don't see it and that one's got quite a few dnfs and i like those because well you know it's different it's a light pole cache but it's a tricky one at that that's why I had one of those for one of my evil caches. And if you guys are in this area and you cache, you know what I'm talking about. I have quite a few of them. And my goal with evil caches is to see how many DNFs that cache can get. I don't even care about the founds. I always love the reading. I love the notifications about the DNFs. Do not finds. That's what makes those enjoyable. <laughs> um, if most people take two or three times or it takes a group of people to find them typically. But uh, I'm going to go and walk to my next cache and I'll see you guys here in a little bit uh, because I've been doing a couple of these videos my GoPro is kind of dying a little bit so I hope I can get the rest of these videos done and I'm probably going to make the the end these videos probably a little quicker so I can get it done the same day without I am bringing any batteries this is kind of like an impromptu I didn't really think I was going to do this so uh, I will see you guys uh, well in three two one Alright, so I ended up driving to the next cache, and I'm kind of glad I did, because those are all cop cars, they're empty, but I was like, um, uh, hmm, and if I was not in the car, I probably would have just walked away and gone back to the car, just drove by, worst case, you know, they asked me what I'm doing, but walking is just like, I guess it wouldn't have looked so crazy, but alright. So I'm at the next cache and it is, this one is a difficulty three touring one and a half. So it can't get you, you know, you can't, it's not handicap accessible, but other than that, it's pretty easy. So let's go into the look. So I'm not even gonna lock that. And the only thing that scares me when you go to the hint, it says may need T-O-T-T, -T, that's tools of the trade. So that's a little scary. And this is what we're looking for. This is where we're at. So hopefully my GoPro doesn't die while we're filming this. Um, it was DNF back on the 25th. Navigate. So if I'm looking right, it kind of looks like it's, you know, kind of looks like from the coordinates. So it should be right here at the corner Ow, what is that hurt me so the cache should be pretty small it says it's a micro so for just the sake of my battery on my camera i'm gonna unfortunately i'm not gonna let you guys watch the hunt i'll be right back if i find it great if i don't i'm just gonna say hey guys uh, i'm gonna have to come back so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right guys so i've been at this cache for a little bit and honestly i can't find it so reading off of other logs it possibly could be uh muggled or maybe i'm just not looking in the right spot but uh i've been going to you know a couple of them said the coordinates are exactly where they're supposed to be so i go exactly where the coordinates are showing and i'm not finding anything so i want to continue with my day so i'm just going to dnf this one and i'll come back later probably this is either one of two things one this is muggled or two this is like just like right in plain sight going come on really come on commander ox come on it's, it's right there it's right there but uh we're gonna click that did not find unfortunately could not find it today could not find will 
be back. Post. All right, so that one is there. I'm gonna go run to the, uh, I'm just gonna drive to the next cache, it's not that far. And then I'm either gonna do two more or I might just go for that last one and call it a day. We'll find out, you'll find out when I make my decision. So I'll see you. We'll find out, you'll find out, we'll see. All right guys, getting out. Let's uh, bring up this cache. I sure hope that this camera does continue to live on for just a couple minutes longer. All right, so we have big enough for a small travel bug. Same person, so hopefully this one isn't as hard. Simple streak cache, big enough for small TV. And I'm looking here, and we got a sign, we got a guardrail. So I'm gonna go with the guardrail. And hit navigate, 37 feet. Go with guardrail cache. This one should be hopefully pretty easy. We'll see. So this one could be a magnetic box. Hmm. Let's see, it's just 37. Always 37 feet, always a little off. 37. So, see, look at it, still says 37. I'm gonna hop over and get a different look, different perspective. Come on, cash. I'm gonna, I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna find this. I thought this was gonna be quicker to find, but the coordinates are still, it shows me in the middle of the road. And well, I'm not. The color is, but I'm not. So I'll be right back with you, just so, if I, just so the camera doesn't die. All right guys, so I did find it. It wasn't that hard to find. It was kind of what I was looking for, but it really wasn't what I was looking for. So what I was looking for is something like magnetic or something, because guardrail or sign but it's big enough for small trackables so i was thinking bigger but this i mean thinking you know if it was something else to I me mean, yeah, a key hide or a custom hide could hide if it was but it's not it was in the leaves so i found it and there was a lot of message about this one needing cash maintenance so it looks like they did maintain it and it looks like it's still a little on the wet side there is a coin, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. But end of the day, we did find it. I believe this is going to be the last cache of the day. Car's coming. This is like the fifth time somebody's come. So there's the log. It's done. Put this back. It's a little damp. So what I'm gonna do is put this in here. Do this. I wish I had another Ziploc bag because I'd bring it with. I, I would have put it in there. Let's do that. Let's make it nice and tight. But this is a perfect little size for travel bugs. Now those cars come both directions. Great. Awesome. I'm gonna put this back and get out of here. I was in a traffic jam. Little road. And I'll put it back where I found it. Which was right there. Cords. Cords were a little off. So, not gonna lie. Not so happy about that. But uh, let me get back in the car real quick and I'm gonna go to a different location and then we'll log this together. All right, guys, so sorry about that. My camera completely died. If you hear echoing, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can already hear it echoing, but this is what I got to do. This is where I got to record, so where I can have this camera on the charger. So let's go in to the geocaching app. Let's turn on record. Alrighty, 
and then we're going to go to log it. This was a really quick cache. Thanks for the cache quick cache and where's Ann? That's where Ann's supposed to be. Oh, right there. Cache and dash. Thanks for the cache. Quick cache and dash. Host. Awesome. So this was a like I was saying, it was it's a it was a Garvel cache, but it was uh, also um, a fairly easy Garvel cache. Where it was is kind of where I was thinking. It wasn't exactly what I was thinking, looking for. Like I said, it was a uh, Tupperware container. I was looking for something that was magnetic on the Garvel. But hey, it was a good cache, and I really appreciate uh, you know the opportunity to go look for it. I will have all the descriptions of the caches down in the description, just like the last uh, couple of videos. Uh, guys, if you please, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. My goal is for 25,000 uh, subs, uh, subs by December 25th, 2020. So that's you know, it's coming. I honestly think it is an obtainable goal as long as two or three things one, I continue bringing you guys good content, which I don't know if it is or not. If you guys don't smash that like button or dislike button, I hope you're not doing this. I hope you're smashing that like button, like squad, come on, and pretty much that's about it so I need your guys help to be able to, to fill my dreams can you guys help me with that I know unfortunately these also these these really bad times that you know a lot of you are at home if you please could watch my videos let me know what you think and then also uh, like my videos subscribe tell your friends your family everybody just tell everybody just to hit that subscribe button for me all right all right guys well that's gonna conclude today's video and like I said, like squad, please go smash that like button. All right, guys. Well, this vlog is effectively over. Peace out.